Hello and welcome to your channel. In this session, we are going to take a look at how can we create heat curve for our specific design. In this case, let's assume your manager asks you to create some physical property of methane, ethene, and propene in uh, which you want to size your heat exchanger. So let's get quickly into this session. Drag the heat exchanger into the simulation area and connect all the stream that our heat exchanger actually need. In this case, I want to uh, uh, actually uh, our methane, propene, and ethene is going to pass through the tube side with the minus 2 degree C and heat up into the minus 10 degree C by using low pressure steam at the shell side. So let's get an insert mole fraction at the tube side, which is methane, ethene, and uh, propene. We do not have any water propene. So Go to the condition and I want to insert minus 2 degree, 20 degree C as the inlet temperature of methane, ethene, and propene. So with the pressure of 1 bar and let's take 10 kg per hour as the flow rate. And this uh, actually exchanger is going to heat up our component into the minus 10 degree C by low pressure of the steam, which we all know that the steam vapor fraction is equal to 1. And its pressure, actually pressure of the low pressure of steam is something between 3 and Four, right? So let's assume four as the pressure of our steam. So let's take, for example, 100 kg per hour as the flow rate of the steam. And so let's define the, the steam is the only component that we have at the shell side. So after inserting the steam. Uh, Actually, criteria go to, uh, we know that insert the outlet temperature of the tube side. This actually yellow line around this exchanger say something to us, which is in this case says we do not have, uh, actually we don't insert and define the differential pressure. Go to the parameter and Define differential pressure. In this example, I'm going to take zero as the differential pressure. So as you can watch, after inserting and defining differential pressure, our shell and tube heat exchanger properly complete. So how can we extract data or physical property of this steam? Actually, this stream, which is methane, ethene, and propene, with minus 2 degrees C at the vapor phase state which is going to reach into the minus 10 degrees C at the vapor phase. So let's get and learn how to find actually physical property of our methane, ethene and propene. So at the first you need to change heat exchanger mode from the simple endpoint, actually click on this drop down menu and switch this from simple endpoint into the simple weighted. Uh, here you actually adjust your temperature range by changing either actually increasing or decreasing interval just right here because we need uh, actually physical property of the, our tube site, which is the stream one and three, I'm going to insert this, in this case, into the 10 interval. So after 
selecting pen temperature, you can go to the performance and extract and just make sure that you click on the tube side and we do have uh, just uh, actually this table provided physical property of the methane, ethene and propene in this case we do have the factor for example viscosity along the shell and tube heat exchanger density of our mixture molecular weight other physical property you can easily copy this all data and transfer yeah, this physical property into the into your uh, actually uh, excel sheet or hdri software so i hope you found this tutorial helpful thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you guys have a good time bye bye